So this is basically at its root a lamb over rice dish. So let's start with lamb. Uh, I've got my big pot on uh, medium high heat, got some oil. Now normally you'd use clarified butter and to give it that butter flavor, I'm gonna throw in about a quarter stick of butter. And now that the butter is melted and the pot is sufficiently hot, I'm gonna add in the lamb. In this case, I have a uh, lamb shoulder blade steak, I guess. You wanna use those bony cuts of meat because they typically have more, uh, more flavor to them. Throw that in there and start to brown each side. So now that that's nice and brown on both sides, I'm going to add in half of a roughly chopped onion. This is gonna add some flavor to the stock that we're basically building up. Now I'm gonna cover that up with just enough water to cover it. See how a little bit of it's poking through, that's fine. I'm gonna throw in a couple of bay leaves quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, an eighth teaspoon of ground clove, quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a teaspoon of cardamom pods, or seeds I guess, the pods would be the green things. Um, you can use pods actually and just crush them open. One little vial of saffron, some pepper to taste, and some salt. The stir, make sure it's all submerged. Let's raise that to a boil. All right, now that that's boiling, we're gonna reduce it down to medium-low, just to a simmer. And we're gonna keep that going for about 30 minutes until uh, the liquid reduces a little bit and the meat starts to get nice and juicy. Now for the rice, uh, I've got my pot on medium-high. Throw a little bit of oil or ghee. Um, clarified butter that we want to use as a lubricant here. So I've got my pre-soaked long grain rice here. And you basically want to keep stirring so that the rice gets coated and sort of toasted in that oil. And while we're doing that, we can also throw in some salt to season it as well as half a teaspoon of turmeric for color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the rice. Standard procedure, you want about a finger depth of water covering up the rice. All right, it's starting to boil, so I'm gonna give it a quick little stir. Cover it up. Turn it down to low and let it cook for about 10 minutes or so. So at this point, I'm gonna add in something called jameed, which is usually usually comes as a dried uh, yogurt in a ball <laughs> that you crumble up and uh, hydrate it overnight. Uh, so, but this one is a pre-made starter base, um, ready to use, actually. So I already poured one in. There's a second one. I'm going to cut it open a little wider because it gets gloopy towards the end. As you can see, probably should have shaken that up ahead of time. Gross. So I'm going to give that a good stir. And now we want to reduce this until it turns into sort of a sauce uh, rather than a soup. Further ado, let's dig right the F in and see what we got going on. So right now, what I'm getting is lamb. The seasoning didn't really come through, but the lamb is definitely tender and delicious. The um, the yogurt is definitely 
adding a bit of creaminess to it, uh, which definitely works well with the, uh, the gaminess of lamb meat. Uh, the, uh, the almonds balance it out pretty well, and so does the parsley. Uh, but maybe I didn't add enough spices. Maybe a quarter teaspoon wasn't enough for a massive pot like this. It's a little disappointing after spending a few hours cooking cooking with all the seasonings to just come out with something as basic as lamb over rice. But then again, this is delicious. Uh, but let me know in the comments uh, what I should have done differently. Uh, and I'll try that next time I make this, which I plan on it. <laughs>